Thanks to the supporters of channel member Harvey2478. Now, I know you gave me loads of money to spend and I, I appreciate I spent it. I appreciate getting it. None of that changes the fact that we do have Barcelona's B team in our league this year. Well, it, that is, it is kind of relevant because they're, they're players who are contracted to Barcelona. They're probably going to be better. Remember when our, our backup goalkeeper went there on 70 grand a week to play in their B team? Yeah, exactly. Look, we play them today. We'll find out how good they are. Hello and welcome to part 40 of Holiday Home. I'm Kevin coming up on today's episode with our first game of the season against Levante B. And then realistically, we're probably going to play Barcelona B as well. It allows us to get through the uh, the final bit of the transfer window. And how could we not play Barcelona in a YouTube video? It'll be interesting as well to see how good their B team is. So slightly split start to the season. If you missed yesterday's transfer special, you should go back and watch it. And uh, this, in fact, we're just going to get some of these youngsters who were knocking about the place that's interesting that my quick pick has lost its mind let's just put them back where they were where's zafra there he is um so we had some youngsters that weren't showing on the bench at the end of the last episode and apparently my uh my assistant manager thinks it's a good idea to start this guy at center back i mean it's not a terrible idea it's not my immediate plan though i think we go with this for now, dropping Zafra, I think, would be very, very harsh. So this is the team for the first day of the season against our old enemy from the lower leagues, Levante B. It is Rodrigo in goal, possibly for the only times. We're trying to bring another goalkeeper in on loan before the deadline. A back four of Zafra, Joffrey, Such and Carrington. Boxel at the base of the midfield. Koulibaly and Rabiu ahead of him. Martinez Perez on the left. New boy Sandoval on the right. And the other new boy, Pasquale, up front don't worry Ivan Luis is still here he's just not fully fit after being injured in pre-season Pasquale on the other hand has no match sharpness so overall this is this is absolutely ideal isn't it um but let's get these get this team submitted remember this is a Levante B team who've just been promoted back up to this level we're a team who narrowly missed out on automatic promotion last year so you would like to think I would like to think we should be better than this lot now and should win relatively comfortably but it is a big test for a very new look front three pasquale's a very different type of striker to anyone we've used before um, and obviously we know nothing about sandoval and he's got very big boots to fill taking over from facal on that right hand side so we're going to learn a lot about some of our new attacking players today and with three days of the transfer window left if today doesn't go well, there could be a panic signing striker. But that is good work from Sandoval, who intercepts the loose ball from Levante. Cross comes in. I don't know where Pasquale is. Rabiu's there to get on the end of it. I mean, we've got a big boy playing in the middle. You would think he'd be all over getting on the end of that cross. I'm not quite sure why that all went wrong. That was uh, that was a bit of an odd one, but it remains nil-nil. We've had the brighter start of the two teams. Levante not yet having a shot. And as is the home way, they've had more of the ball than we have. Carrington with the in-swinger, looking for Ivan Such, but can't find him. Sandoval on the edge of the area, who's already on a yellow card. I mean, he's looked good in what we've seen of him, but if he gets himself sent off on his debut, that's not a great way to endear him to me. Pasquale is in here, though. He does have 17 finishing. I mean, that was quite the finish, boys and girls. You dance like a robot. You've earned it. What a finish that was. My goodness me. This is what 17 finishing looks like, is it? He looked like he had no hope at all. What, what a goal. Have we stumbled across a new hero? I've been. This goes against everything I stand for. I've been saying for years that finishing doesn't matter. I can't think of another player we've had in this save who scores that goal. Little Kev, at his best, might have taken it on on his left foot and drilled it across goal. But to just let the defender run past him and create the space for him, knowing that he could just curl it round him and pick the far post out that way, that was impressive work. Sandoval is worrying me. What is his maniac rating? Um, he is... He's only got 12 for aggression. I think he's just overexcited on his debut. But... Um, he, yeah, he is playing like a nut muffin. 
We might, I mean, I know this is getting very button clicky. I don't even know how to do it. It's so button clicky. Um, so stop kicking everyone, you fool. That's an option, isn't it? It's on his ease off tackles. There you go. Sandoval. Just, I don't want it. He's looked good. I don't want him to get a red card on his debut because I think he's looked good. We've looked good. And Pasquale is looking quite useful as a focal point. And Rabiou bursting out of midfield. Remember, the last time we won the league, Rabiou was fantastic on the first day of the season, getting a hat-trick. Struggled for goals last year after the step-up in leagues, but he has been off at the Olympics again earlier this summer. So he should be full of excitement and Olympic fun, Olympic spirit. And hopefully we see him start weighing in with a few more goals again this year because it was something that we were missing, certainly towards the end of last season, when little Kev went off the boil and Ivan Luis kind of crumbled under the pressure of being our only striker. We just stopped scoring goals. We need goals from other players. And Rabiou is one who should be getting more goals than he did last year. Um, and I'm also looking at the likes of Martinez Perez and Sandoval as the wide players, especially uh, with Pasquale being a kind of... I mean, he is much more of a target. I mean, we're not playing him as a target man today, but he will naturally drift into doing target man type things and allowing those wide players to run beyond him. So we need them to weigh in with goals. Obviously, Fakal was always a good source of goals. So we need Sandoval to be able to do the same kind of thing. That was... A poor header from Joffrey and Zafra has just absolutely clattered their player trying to recover from the mess that Joffrey created. And uh, yeah, that's not an ideal start for, for Zafra at the start of this season. Um, I don't really know what to do. I guess Sandoval comes off and we'll put Joffrey out to left back. This is what my, this is the back four my assistant manager wanted to play. So Jonathan Joregi, who can play everywhere, comes on to play centre-back. Joffrey goes out to left-back. And I think we take off Martinez Perez as well. And bring on Ivan Luis to play alongside Pasquale. We're not going to play him behind like that. But if we have those two in those roles, we might be getting a bit fancy here, but... I think that suits both of those two playing together as a partnership in those roles. Who knows? <laughs> Let's see what happens, shall we? Zafra, as one of our homegrown boys, has left us in the lurch a little bit there. Now we've got absolutely no width going forward. And at left back, we've got Joffrey, who's a centre back who's not really going to provide us with much width, uh, width either. But Ivan Luis with the header on to Pasquale and finishing of 17, boys and goals. Told you. I told everyone it means nothing. That was 17 finishing there. Just scoops it over the bar. Um, right, Pasquale is now going to come off, which means we need to get to get last season's blossoming partnership together. Ivan Luis and Fred Stiebling together again. It's one of football's great love stories. And uh, let's get those boys playing together again like they were at the end of last season. Rabiu. He's going to take the corner. He's going to look for an in-swing edge. That far post where Ivan Such is there. I think Alex Boxall was knocking around the place as well, but neither of them able to get a proper connection on it and keep their header down below the crossbar. We have dominated this game, but we're still only 1-0 up. And we've got a lot of players who are getting very tired. Um, right. Who are we going to bring on in this role? I think there's only one man who's going to come on and play as that Mazala, and that is Russ Eddy. And then we're going to bring on new boy Galdino to play in that uh, defensive midfielder role. And Alex Boxall can move back into the deep line playmaker role that he played towards the end of last season alongside Russ Eddy. And Galdino's a centre-back who can play as a DM and just gives us a little bit of extra defensive cover, theoretically. We seem to have gone... I mean, these are all basically defenders. We've gone very defensive to end the game, but... We've won with 10 men against one of our old rivals. So I'm I'm going to take it. It's not the the incredible victory I was hoping for against a newly promoted team. But three points is three points. Now we're going to play a couple of matches off camera, hopefully bringing that goalkeeper in as well. And we'll be back for Barcelona, the at home. Oh, boys and girls, this might well be our year. Look at these two in between -y games. We are We are good. Um, Sandoval is good. Pasquale is good. Rabiou is good this year. 
I mean, he was good last year. He's good. Ivan Luis now fit again. He's good. We're battering everybody. We are B-bashers once again. And we are joint top of the league. Forget Villarreal. They've cheated and they've not won that game. We now face a Barcelona team who have started the season with one win and one draw. They've only played twice and I have no idea why. Why have they only played twice? But just Barcelona things. They play when they want, apparently. Um, let's go beat them. This is the team that we're going to be putting out there to try and achieve exactly that. Oh, we signed the new goalkeeper, by the way. Thomas Serrano. Um, he's going to be Argentina's main goalkeeper one day. I promise. Um, so Serrano in goal. A back four of Zafra, Joffrey, Ivan and Carrington. Alex Boxall at the base of the midfield. What the hell is that guy doing there? One moment. Uh, Koulibaly and Rabiou in midfield. Martinez Perez on the left. Sandoval on the right. Luis up front. I mean, I like the fact that uh, Jonathan Juregi can play everywhere, but I'm not necessarily going to play him as my deep-lying playmaker ahead of a Koulibaly who has started the season really, really well in that role. Definitely looks the part. Now vice-captain, now a starter. One of our own. That other guy, he's just here... He's just here to make up the numbers. We needed a guy who could play in lots of positions. Right. Let's beat Barcelona. Wouldn't that be a thing? Um, obviously, they're they're quite... Oh, once, every time we play them, they wear this kit that clashes with our kit. Oh, for goodness sake. This is just what they're going to do to this league, isn't it? Oh, my word. It's the playoffs this year, then. They, I mean, that's unacceptably good. Well, that's given them their little one goal lead. I mean, there's nothing we could have done about it. There's there's no defending against that. There's no saving that as the goalkeeper. But all the same, it is frustrating. Joffrey playing it forward to Koulibaly, um, who quite rightly decides not to play it forward, just panics and gives it to Carrington who does lump it forward, looking for Luis. Maybe today was not a day for Ivan Luis to run around aimlessly up top. Maybe this is where we needed the big, strong boy up there instead of him. Um, mm, I mean, we are struggling to get near the ball. Oh, Ivan Such with the goal line clearance. Oh, my word. Right, here we go. We've got the ball again. Koulibaly, that's poor from him. And Joffrey intercepts, though, but then gives Zafra gives the ball away. The homegrown boy is letting us down at the moment. We had this is desperate last ditch defending. Oh, <laughs> well, what a, what a start for Barcelona, who look very good. How did they have a game that they only drew? Who on earth was good enough to hold this team at bay? Because we've looked fantastic against everybody else so far. But this Barcelona team is making us... We look like we're playing against real Barcelona. My goodness me. Right. Let's... Uh, we need to try and compose ourselves. Let's offer some encouragement to a group of players who are, they are struggling a little bit because Barcelona are annoying. What are they doing down in the third tier? Get out of my... Because the thing is, even if we go up, they're going to come up with us. We're going to have to get past them again next year. <laughs> I know it's early in the season to be writing off automatic promotion, and maybe we'll end up more consistent than them over the course of the year, but they are levels above us here, and it is terrifying how much better than us they are. Uh, Rabiu to Carrington... We are just struggling to get anything going. Ivan Luis has snuck one past the goalkeeper, though, to get us a goal back. I mean, the home faithful haven't exactly turned up for this one, have they? Um, okay, we've got a goal back. Maybe we started the game a little bit shell-shocked, showing them a little bit too, too much respect. Maybe... Maybe it all comes together from here. They've, I thought they'd changed their system. They haven't. Right, we're offering encouragement again. They're playing a the flat back seven. A bunch of absolute cowards as well. Right, there you go. We're offering a little bit more encouragement again. If we can, I mean, we're used to not having much of the ball. 
if we can grab an equalizer, if we can somehow get a point out of this, I think that is a very, very valuable point as the season goes on. So who's going to have the equalizer for us? Do we go? Do we go to? I mean, our wingers are doing nothing. Do we go to a diamond here and stick Pasquale on? Hmm. I could just sit here doing nothing and just letting the clock tick down, which is what I'm actually doing. Right, Koulibaly crosses to Alex Boxall at the far post, and there's the equaliser! And it was made at home. Koulibaly with the cross, Boxall with the header. It's our homegrown boys combining, and it's 2-2. Two -two. Sitting there doing nothing was exactly the right thing to do. Have faith in my own boys. What a cross that was from Koulibaly as well. On his weak foot as well. Our two young midfielders combining beautifully right rabiu is tired which means it's time for another one of our young midfielders to come on russ eddy is going to be the jesse lingard of this save we're going to be describing him as a young player when he's 32 he is uh he's 21 years old now that does still count as young but he has been around since the first season um right martinez perez rob harley is now fit so rob harley's going to get his first appearance of the season oh he doesn't like playing attacking at all hold on Sandoval can attack. We're just going to swap these back around again. We switched it around to get Martinez Perez more involved. But we'll go back to that. Um, see, I'm now second guessing bringing Harley on. I'm thinking we did talk about going to a diamond, didn't we? We're going to take off Zafra. We're going to bring on Jonathan. Joffrey can go to left back again. That'll do for now. Offer some more encouragement. Pasquale's going to come on with 10 minutes to go. Come on. Let's do a football. Right. Pasquale is on for Ivan Luis. Carrington is going to come off for Jimenez, even though Jimenez has been in a mood. Pasquale could really cement himself as a hero with a winner here against Barcelona. Come on. There's got to be a Pasquale winner for us. Or even a, high, a highlight would do. It's at the wrong end of the pitch. I don't want a highlight. Forget your highlight. Right. Lump it forward. Boxall to Koulibaly. There is Pasquale. Just shoot from there. You've got 17 finishing. I, he didn't get anywhere near it, did he? Um, well, four minutes of time added on. There's probably going to be a winner, and it's probably going to be for Barcelona, who started really brightly and then just kind of stopped another goal line scrambled clearance. I mean, we are mugging them at the moment for this one point. They were so much better than us and couldn't beat us. Our name is on that trophy, boys and girls. We're going up this year. I've, I've officially decided, and we are now going to get some games played before we get back for the next episode so we'll come back somewhere around here probably got a nice little run of b teams we are the b bashers in fact we're in a run of four b b teams at the moment we're still unbeaten next time you see me this is going to be the face of a man who's top of the league if you've enjoyed that please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos and thank you very much for watching